All right, guys, we're headed out. I'm going to uh, put a theory to to work to the test. Um, I had quite a few bucks coming in right around shed time, right around the beginning of uh, uh, March, uh, all the way up to like the fifteenth of March. Um, coming in uh, every other day, every couple of days um, from a couple of different directions. So I think they're fairly close um, to the camera. I have a couple ideas of where they might be, so we're just gonna we're gonna put a couple hours in just searching in those areas around the camera, um, just doing a really good grids through that area because they have to be there. A couple of them look like they were like fresh dropped um, when they came in, so maybe in their beds, uh, maybe on their way down. So, just gonna do that. All right, so tell me I'm not crazy, because I got a bed, no sheds, and that's just really irritating. Let me show you what I got. So there's, there's the bed. I got a little irritation with wet pitch on it. I got another one up there. There's another one behind it I mean there's no I mean a buck was here this is where a buck lives where where's his antlers hopefully I'll be back shortly to say I found him don't know at least I found a bed where a buck has been living that's an improvement. Some people say finding a uh, balloon is good luck. Um, I definitely can use some luck on my side today. Because I think we're going on mile eight. I've come across some just some amazing deer sign as far as beds, uh, what I consider soft rubs. Um, uh, right next to the beds and no sheds. They're missing something. But let's go pick up this balloon. It's in a jumbled mess. What do we got here? Oh, happy birthday. They knew it was my birthday. That's so nice of them. I wonder if they could have wrapped it. Shed in it. That would have been nice. Happy birthday to me. Well, this could be my big haul for the day. I'll do my environmental best and take this trash out with me. Well, hopefully I'll have something else to show you besides that. Mr. Badland sent us a present. in here. I got the wrong tape. So, this is the Vario 33 kit. So it's the frame, the um, deluxe bat wings, and then the 33 Vario backpack. Mm. Uh, and you need to, if you want the meat shelf, you have to order it. It does not come with the kit. So, yeah, buddy. Nice. Well, I'm going to unwrap this thing. Well, as usual, when I go to go out of the valley to do a shed hunt, it rains. So we are headed to a different area doing a different thing. This will be looking for some elk sheds. I haven't found one in about 15 years, so that'd be really cool. That'd be good. Maybe some mule deer sheds. Um, going for about an hour and a half drive, and hopefully we will come up with something. But yeah. 
gonna be a, a, a wet day. Well, no, I guess I'm gonna get this way. I get to try my crispy boots and my, my new backpack. I get to try them out today. This is more like a walk in the woods, a shed hunt, but definitely can't get any sheds sitting at home, so we're closer and we're out here than find one than we are at home. But uh, I've, I've found 50 say, shed sticks. So I've at least walked by two sheds, if not more. Yeah. Rotten spots. Pretty, but rotten. Well, we're not finding any sheds. Good looking area though. I found a lot of shed sticks, but no sheds. But I thought this was cool. Cool. Uh, log. And it is a tree. It goes up and up and oh man. Look at all that. Awesome. Couldn't see this part. Saw this raise. Yeah, and that's what we do to shed sticks. Sucker. Take a chance. Good job. Well, good morning. We're going back up to not a new spot, but um, a new spot for the year, I suppose. I'm um, going to try another another part of it, see if I can't match up maybe that big three that I found, uh, the first brown that I found, if we can't try to match him up and just learn some of that new area because I think it'll be good next year for uh, late season, but um, it's going to be a little drizzly, a little overcast, should be a fun day. Nice four point. That eye guard is just oh man, love that eye guard. Then that forked horn, which I'm pretty sure is the forked horn that I have coming in. Um, I think it's just a year, I think it's just a year, um, in front of mine. I think that's oh, uh, 17. Because I have a forked horn that looks like that from 18 and 19. So, we'll see. We shall see. But, thing has such good color on its backside. Fooled me. Thought for sure it was a brown, but nope. No squirrels. Oh, the squirrels. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Um, yeah, but um, looks so packed, it excellent. Um, really liking it, digging that. Uh, crispy boots are doing good too. I've got now about about uh, 25 30 miles into them. Uh, they're coming along, doing good. But uh, cool head of elk. I like seeing this. Well, with good fortune, the road's open. So I saved myself about a quarter to a half a mile hiking. Um, could have done a little bit more, but uh, I have only a two-wheel drive vehicle. So we're stopping here so I don't get in an accident. It's a little slick and muddy.
but we are on our way and uh looks like it's gonna be a drizzly day hope everybody's morning afternoon evening day off day at work is going good well we're about five miles in and like normal i've been finding beds and good trails and all that sorts of stuff and beds with no sheds that's my like my motto so far this year well i think this one had a shed in it now i can't say that it was laying down and then got up and fell off. I don't know. But there's a bed and there's a shed. So, with further ado, let's turn this thing around. Let you look at it. This bed. And there is the shed. Now, with further ado, let's walk over there and pick that puppy up. Now, so it's like it's a fork and horn with eye guards. So, see what we can do. Pick up. Oh. Yep. It's a big fork and horn with eye guard. Nice brown. Yeah, buddy. Well, we won't go home empty-handed. That's a successful day. Successful day. We'll poke around and see if I might find the other one. Probably not. But we're oh, and we're gonna see if Onyx is still working when I get done with this. See how that's doing. Well, it actually wasn't that far. Um, I think total, I think I did six miles. Still, shed to mile ratio is not looking good this year. But I came out with a brown antler, and uh, I get to go work on a chicken coop. So it's going to be a good day. Turned out to be pretty nice. Um, the ground was wet. Boots are wet. I need to get a pair of gaiters. But... All in all, for this, I think that's a good day. Good brownie. Never did find anything else, and uh, that's all right. Mm -hmm. 